What's up guys, it's Ryan here and welcome to this video where we're going to be playing around a little bit with the RuneScape mobile app. I've had this app on my phone since the most recent release where there were 50,000 spots. I don't believe there are any spots anymore, but I thought I'd do a stream where I played around with it just a little bit, mostly just to see if I had a decent mobile streaming setup. At the end of the day, I had a lot of fun. My neck hurts a little bit. My eyes hurt because all the icons are absolutely tiny on my little phone screen. And in order to do some of these bosses, there were a ton of manual inputs required, but it was absolutely worth it. I had a ton of fun and I don't know when I'll be doing it again, but Maybe next time they update the mobile app, next time they make some changes, especially if there's anything they do on the PVM side, I would love to play around with it again in the future. I'm streaming on my regular cell phone, it's a Samsung Galaxy Note 9, and I was pretty impressed overall with the streaming quality and the video quality, although the mobile app itself, well, I have a lot of critiques. That being said, I was able to do a complete Elite Dungeon 3 run, as well as a bunch of other things like this pretty fast rack skill I managed to get as well, and I thought I would speed it up, put it some music, and play it for you guys. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. I don't really think it serves a purpose, this really doesn't teach anybody anything, but it's a thing I was able to do and I thought I'd share it with you all. Also worth noting, right now the mobile app is definitely not something I would recommend PVMing on. It would definitely be possible to get a sub 3 rack skill or some other speedy things on mobile, but that doesn't necessarily make it enjoyable in the slightest, and it was by far more work than just using a computer. On the go, I guess if you really want to kill racks when you're on a train, you could do it, but it's not optimal. That being said, the real reason I wanted a mobile setup is so that I can make videos and guides and tutorials for when RuneScape 3 Mobile comes out. That's something I'm going to be very on top of, and I'm pretty excited. The first half of the Ambassador boss fight is extremely repetitive, as I wasn't able to output much DPS. As you can tell by my actual action bars, those are the things on the right and the left hand side, it's mostly defensive abilities in order for me to deal with the mechanics. I didn't have room to put my prayers there, and I also didn't have room to manually trigger any thresholds either. So I was basically sitting there and I was stuck working with the Revo bar that I had set up. You'll also notice that the first ability on my Revo bar is resonance. The reason I did this is so that it will instantly res as soon as I equip a shield, just as a way to save one keybind. For the next version of mobile, I would love to see another six abilities available right underneath my world map, as with six more abilities that would give me prayers and some damaging abilities as well, which would have made something like this a whole lot easier. The very first time I went through, I managed to take out four spinners, which only happened once in the several attempts I went through. Generally, I was hoping to take out three spinners and I saved my berserk for those spinner parts as well just to make it a little bit easier. As for the smokes I was being extremely patient with everything. I figured it wasn't gonna happen by me going super quickly but if I could take it nice and slow and nice and easy it wouldn't be too bad. Okay we've made it at the phase point so I'm gonna phase in some music and I hope you enjoy the live commentary. I was pretty excited to get the kill. I died quite a few times to just standing in the smoke and some random other upsetting things so this was quite a relief to get done. So at this point, I think I just pretty much eat, right? I'm just eating. I don't want my HP below like 6k, I don't think. 450k. I'm gonna zerk in a sec. Look at that Zerk a pot. Didn't get my ring switch in, but that's okay. Oh, I just wasted a food because Sarah's gonna heal me. Forty Adren. All right, boys. Here we go. You know, I wish I could keep on my Mage Prey. That's one thing I really do wish I could bind, because this is the difficult part. Good. And then at the end of this attack, we have to put our range prey on like that. Beat up to full. You know what? I'm not going to flick my prayer here. I've got a better idea. I mean, it's not better, but it's a lot safer anyway.
that's fine. Just because if I've got food, that's a lot safer. Good. 120k. Look at all the brews I've got left, boys. We're on 100k. Oh, I even baited out the attack. Oh, nice, dude. Okay, good. So in 10 seconds, I got to use both my defensives. We're actually going to fire them a little earlier. There's the debilt. There's the reflect. See you, bro. And that is an ambassador solo on mobile. See ya, bro! Easy game. No problem at all. <laughs> oh, my neck hurts. Oh, my neck hurts so much. <laughs> all right, boys. Um, How much food do I have left? I literally had a full amount of food left. Okay. Well, that's... Uh, it's interesting. 130k loot, we got a Trisk piece. <laughs> Perfect. I still haven't got a drop yet. I've done uh, 129 of these solo, which is a little unlucky. But, uh... I gotta say, your boy did it. <laughs> now I can do this while laying on the couch. Exactly! I can do this while sleeping, while watching Netflix with the RS grill. It's perfect! Oh my god.